Um, well, um, didn't know what to expect a little bit. You know, it was a last minute situation with Josh out there. Uh, you know, he tweaked his ankle, uh, you know, in that, in that Houston game. You know, we didn't practice Friday and we practiced yesterday and he wasn't able to go and didn't know what game time would be. Uh, but basically game time, he wasn't able to go. So that county uh, had to adjust again without him and Luke. So I thought Rawls stepped in, played really well. And I thought our bench gave us good minutes. Kevin off the bench and Cooper off the bench. You know, we had some lineups we never had out there all year, Davey and Cooper and Tay together. Against that pre against their press was was good for us. And, uh, you know, I thought Charles and, Charles and Carson was – you know, they did what they did around that rim. They were bigger and stronger, and but we were pretty efficient, and particularly the second half. I know the first half only had one turnover, but I felt like that. I felt like it was six or seven times we drove in there the first half that something could have been, something could have happened differently than what happened. Uh, I just thought we got whacked a few times and turned into some bad offensive situations where we didn't score or get to the foul line. You know, the, I know we shot 22 free throws that are two still, but. Thought there was a lot of more opportunities to do that a lot more. But you know, when you play a team and scrambles and presses some, you kinda gotta kinda gotta make some basketball plays at the end of it. And I thought we were pretty efficient, um, scoring early or being as efficient as we can against it. So, you know, we gotta put that one behind us. We got a quick turnaround again tomorrow. Um, a really quick turnaround. Hey, Coach, this is Jared with the Daily News here. Um, you know, after Thursday's game, Tay said something uh, along the lines of, you know, after a loss like that, it makes teams hungry. I know you said that you didn't really know what to expect without Josh. You guys didn't practice Friday. But, you know, what did you notice from the team, you know, after that loss, the way that they responded and, and the way that they came back in here and really dominated today? Well, Jared, I had no questions about being ready to play. You know, it's, it's late in the year now. And you know, like I say, you can see light at the end of that tunnel. You know where you're at. You know, first of the year, if you're in November, December, early January, maybe a little different sometimes because uh, it's a long way to the finish line. Uh, but now, you know, we can see the finish line and we know what's waiting for us at the finish line. So as a player and a coach, I mean, if you can't get ready to play now, then probably play the wrong sport and coaching the wrong sport too. So I had no doubt we'd be ready. You know, make an adjustment again uh, without, um, you know, Josh defensively, you know, he's one of our better defenders and quicker guys out there. So it was already down a perimeter guy depth wise. So we knew our bench had to step up for us. And again, I thought Rawls gave us great, great minutes. Kevin gave us good minutes and Cooper, those guys in particular gave us some really good minutes off the, off that bench. And we were able to play a little more zone probably um, uh, wanted too early. Uh, and I thought the zone was really good for us. I thought our guards did a good job keeping their point guard out of that lane. Um, kept us from having to help and recover a lot. So I thought that was big for us all day long. Hey, Coach, this is Caden with the Herald. Um, speaking of, you know, the bench players, uh, you know, do you expect them to have a, uh, I guess, show up more, have a bigger role like as we get towards uh, tournament time? Well, again, you know, um, we're down a couple guys right now, Luke and Josh. So naturally those guys will to get those minutes. But, but you never know when, when you're playing foul trouble. Uh, you don't know when you got to step up and come in and give us some minutes. Uh, you know, Kevin stepped up tonight and, you know, chipped a tooth, but kept going. You know, a lot of guys would want to go to the locker room, but he didn't. He wanted to keep playing, and uh, he had it too out there tonight. Gave us some, you know, great minutes and some great depth. I think nine and six he gave us. Uh, so, and we need Cooper every night to step up and play. His minutes, you know, he's, I think he's played well for us. I mean, you're a – you're a veteran like him, too, this time of year that you'll play your best basketball. So, um, but, you know, uh, you know, Cal, uh, Milton's a, he's a young guy. You know, I didn't want him to come out there and play like it's mop-up time. And I thought he did that a little bit. I thought he – early, I thought he tried to force some things like you do if it's late in the game. Well, that wasn't a situation. You're in there and, you know, when the game's going on, when it's a meaningful game and early in the game yet. Yeah, so you just got to get yourself in the flow. You can't try to search for things and try to make things happen. Because, again, I, I just think – I think he's got a chance to become a really, really good player. And he had not played a lot for us. Uh, but use those minutes to get yourself better. And you don't have to go in and, you know, search for things to, you know, get better. Let yourself get in that flow a little bit. So the minutes he got today was good for him. He's able to play 11 minutes. That's a season high. 
you know, basically minutes all year long. You got in this one game, so that was good for him. And we'll need the same thing tomorrow. Hey, Coach Sherd with the Daily News again. I know um, you said in that first half about five or six times you drove it in there and thought of some things could have gone differently, but it seemed like you guys really wanted to attack the rim, you know, and you always want to do that when you have a guy like Charles, but, you know, FIU, a little bit undersized, you know, 26, I believe, uh, of your 44 first half points in the paint, you guys shoot 15 free throws, you know, how much of an emphasis, you know, was that heading into this game offensively? Well, you know, that press allows you to get that ball in that paint a little bit more off that dribble than a uh, normal game. So we wanted to attack early. Um, if you didn't get something early, let's try to be efficient because we knew we had advantage inside against them. Um, but when we could tack early off that bounce, uh, we want to do that too. And again, I thought we got in there several times. Um, you know, again, I, ain't, I haven't watched no film, but boy, I just thought there were several other times that we got into the realm. And uh, you know, everybody gets caught up in the score a little bit, but the score early wasn't totally out of hand. I just didn't think we got many, many, many of those kind of situations that, you know, that we could have got by driving it in there. But, um, you know, we still got there 22 times again. But, you know, our strength was Charles and Carson. And Carson's in there, you know, offensively, that's advantage for us. You know, defensively, they're playing small out there. Four guys can shoot it. So it's not always a advantage there. But I thought the zone limited, limited him having to chase people around. And um, for the most part, we got that three-point shot pretty good. Hey, Coach, I know it's a, uh, this is an afternoon game today, a 2 o'clock game, but tomorrow you play at noon. I know there's still time there, but is there any, any concern for, you know, playing early in the morning? Well, not really morning, but noon with after, you know, putting up 90-something points today. Well, I, you know, there's always concerns about everything. I'll think about things. But, again, I do believe this. They got to get up and play the same game we do at noon. It's going to be the same time for them as it is us uh, noon. For, uh, so, uh, I was able to save – Save some minutes. I haven't looked at their minutes yet. Um, Looked like they shared a bunch of minutes, too, because they play a lot of people. Second half, I was able to rest a lot of guys. Uh, the first half, I know we had some 16 and 17 and 18-minute eight, uh, uh, players. But the second half, I, I rest those stars a bunch. So, again, um, you know, it's the second game. As you guys well know, the second game, if you've beaten a team, hadn't been easy. Uh, nowhere around the country has it been easy. So, um, we got to come out and, you know, we got to forget the first one, get ready to do the same thing tomorrow as we did today. And then, like you said, it's going to be an a early start, you know, a noon start for everybody. Um, Coach, no, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Coach, kind of going off of that, um, you know, I believe Zach had a stat that you guys had three games in the previous 33 days leading up to this. Um, and now it's kind of the home stretch, really busy time for you guys. You know, in a game like this, in a stretch like this, you know, how difficult is it to try to find that balance between, you know, keeping your starters in there and making sure they're, um, you know, ready to go come postseason time and, and resting them as well? Yeah, there's a little bit of balance with that. You're right. We, I wanted to play some of those guys a lot of minutes. We got to get back some game rhythm. Again, I thought that really hurt us at Houston in the second half. I didn't think we had no game, game rhythm that second half. I thought conditioning hurt us. Uh, again, they were, they were tougher than we were. But again, you know, not playing on the road and not playing in the amount of games, um, you know, that was a factor. So I want to play some guys. I want them to get them back in some rhythm. And today's uh, – Thursday was good for us. We got a game under our belt. Today was good again. Tomorrow will be good again. We'll kind of get in a rhythm here a little bit, playing some games. Um, you know, we hadn't had a lot of rhythm the month of February. So uh, – but it is – it's a fine line. Um, you know, after tomorrow we can – we can take a day off. Uh, we got, you know, two days before we have to play the next three days. We have to play that next game Friday and Saturday, I guess, isn't it? Kind of lost track of time. Day Sunday, in it? Yeah. So uh, it will be a little different. The week will be shorter, but um, it, it, it's a fine line. But we got to get some rhythm back. And I thought we were able to do that, you know, today for sure, playing some guys some minutes. Uh, Coach, like you said, coming off that Houston game on uh, FIU shot, 10 or 31 from three, and they didn't take a free throw until there was two minutes left in the game. So, you know, how did you feel defensively um, about the team's performance today? Well, again, they lead the country in three-pointers attempt and they're averaging 31 a game. They got their average. They're making 10 a game. They got their average. So, but what we didn't allow, we didn't allow dribble penetration getting to that real much. Our dribble penetration kicking out to a better – 
three-point shot. I, I thought Charles's presence kept him from dribbling in there a lot. And I thought we were pretty good. And, and it started out there, those guards at the top. You notice, you notice that they'd get screened every time. And for the most part, you got to guard that screen with, with the guy guarding the screen in zone and that screen receiver. And that was Davey and Tay for the most part. Cooper out there. Uh, Rawls got out there some. Uh, they did a pretty good job keeping that little – keeping Brewer and uh, keeping those little guards out of that lane. Hey, Coach, shared with the Daily News again. Um, at this point, do you know what uh, Luke and Josh's status for tomorrow are? Um, I, I know for sure we'll be without Luke for sure. And I would say the status with Josh is pretty much the same probably without him. Uh, he was – he's just not able – he wasn't able to go at all. Uh, uh, but we'll see tomorrow. We'll see what um, some treatment does for him tonight and, uh, you know, and how he feels tomorrow. I'd like to get him in, not the point to, you know, cause the injury if it's best not to. Just like to get him in and get some rhythm, get him some game rhythm a little bit. But, you know, right now we'll plan me and that both of those guys for sure. Anything else for Coach? All right. All right, guys. Y'all got to get up early in the morning now. Yeah, we'll be here.